The Gadget FM box sits in an FM studio connected to the desk and uh, it also links up through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something like that with any um, any phone or mobile device, computer, anything else somebody brings into the studio because um, that's what's missing. Uh, FM studio is all very well but it is a bit limited to CDs or LPs or uh, live performance, it's okay. But uh, we find that our guests bring in a phone and the presenters also. And uh, so we need something that communicates directly with the desk that can just be mixed in. So it's also going to have uh, cloud aspects. It will record things and have a stock of music anything else you can load up to it uh, and also it will tell you if the requests are okay to broadcast because uh, sometimes the the lyrics get get into trouble um, there's two sizes to it I, I, I'll say it's a box because it's got to look right in the studio to start off with but the later versions will get smaller and uh, they will be quite all right for uh, any, kind, any kind of cafe mobile situation and um, video video would be nice as well but I think we'll leave leave gadget TV till next year because uh, the technology isn't quite right uh, it's it's a sort of open spec we just have an idea at the moment what it would be like um, so it needs to, it does need development and if there are other options that's okay we, we we think we'd just like to work with whatever's in this sort of area uh, so that's that's about it we need we need a bit of support the, the gadget show is always trying out video and showing what can be done but how it gets into a proper broadcast is not is not very clear so we we, we think we can work with sound and an fm studio we, we, we also think we could try things out with Phonic FM in Exeter and maybe Access All Aerials based at Seal Hain. Uh, so we've got, we've got some, some options to, to develop, it, develop it a bit. I think that, that might be two minutes. More later.